I will tell you why you have been waiting for this month, my gorgeous Capricorn, indeed. Because you are going to have a very important information, very important message you are going to have at the beginning of April 2022. That information and that message that I'm talking about, it's actually nothing to do with your life in particular, nothing to do with your life personally, you see. It's a lot to do with things on the outside that have been affecting your life so much over the last 46 months indeed. The specific information and message that you are going to have, it's not going to be like, oh my god, huge, it's not going to be like massive, but you will see exactly what I mean. Because for the first time in a long time, you're going to see, you're going to become aware of the light at the end of the tunnel. And these are only going to be the first glimpse. But once this light comes through, nothing is going to stop, stop this light from coming forward ever again. You see, it is not a message and information to do with your personal life. It's to do with things on the outside, but it's also to do with something that you have been waiting, uh, waiting and waiting. It's to do with anticipation, but it's also to do with your life being slowed down with the progress, not being quick enough, not being fast enough. You're not the only sign that that was affected. Lots of signs and lots of people were affected. But to you in itself, this is going to be so significant because you are going to make an enormous step. And the step that I'm talking about, it's going to become pretty much so obvious on the 4th of April, 14th of April, and the 24th of April. These three days are going to be completely different, but there is something that these three days are going to have in common. And what am I talking about here? It's what you need to know. It's what exactly are going to need in order to actually understand understand what the next step in your life is going to be. This is going to be so good. This is going to be so brilliant. And as I said, you know, as soon as we feel this like kind of positivity in our lives, when it comes to us like kind of feeling really low and feeling really negative because we kind of didn't feel that we, that we can move on as quick as we possibly can, you know, towards our future planning, as soon as that vibration comes up, up. There is so much that it's going to be answered to you, my gorgeous Capricornius, indeed. And now you will see, you will be able to feel this absolutely completely different vibration from the beginning of, um, of April until the end of that month. And it's not going to stop there. Just remember that that particular information that you're going to become aware of right at the beginning of April is going to change so much. It's going to make you aware of how important it is to trust your intuition, but it's also going to give you that hope, and that hope was needed in order to increase your personal vibration. And you know, when your personal vibration is increased, you know, there is so much that starts making sense that didn't make sense before. Even if we fully don't understand, you know, certain things in our lives, around our lives, you know, it's all about this energy and vibration that comes to us through our own inspiration. So this is something in particular that you most certainly must not ignore. Okay, my name is Sasha Bonasin. And I'm a psychic medium, and this is your monthly horoscope tarot card reading, and it's for you, my gorgeous Capricorn, and it's for April 2022. So this monthly horoscope tarot card focus is for you, my gorgeous Capricornius, and it's for April 2022. So your number is this month, number 222. This is such an important number when it comes to the actual numerology, because it means it's about the first light after a long time of a 
darkness it signifies it shows it's trying to take make you aware of the first light you know and this is the glimpse of that light at the end of the tunnel that was very dark and very long and very negative for way 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 too long so it's all about two 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 in numerology so all about the first light in our lives you know which is going in to indicate the, the beginning of a whole new cycle okay so not only there is going to be the greatest energy change like in an absolute ages you know after a long time but this is also going to be the time when you my gorgeous capricornius are going to have the beginning of a new cycle and specifically when it comes to that first light you know pay attention to 11th 12th and the 13th of april 2022 because then you will know exactly that you will feel this beginning of a new cycle but then again at the same time you will be, be aware of the view from above and the view from above it's going to show you the big picture and you will get the big picture and once you get the big picture nothing is going to change your mind ever again because it's also going to be connected to the certain unfinished business that now it's going to like kind of blow up but before that happens karmically there is going to be the situation that you are going to suddenly feel at around the 21st 21st 22nd and 23rd of april you need to see who is going to come into your mind someone is going to like kind of make you feel dark and someone is going to make you feel really negative someone is going to come to your mind and you're going to think oh that little bastard or something like that now this is important this is karmically a big mama so you remember what i said the glimpse of the first light you will be able to have the view from above above and you will also get the big picture that in itself is very much so showing an important aspect of your life which is gonna come up in terms of a challenge when it comes to you for giving to that person so there is someone that is slowing you down and that is blocking your energy and vibration because something happened in the past with you and someone else and even if you're unsure who this is this is going to become rather obvious so you need to pay attention you need to release that person and let it go it's not about them it's not about what they did it's not about what happened in between you two but it's about you releasing yourself from that energy karmically this is important and you are the one who is going to make the most of it because you're going to be the one who's going to nicely beautifully gently and slowly move on from your life and and you know this is important because exactly seven days after that moment in time you will have an important opportunity when it comes to the actual development when it comes to promotion of your own path when it comes to things that you're working on suddenly seven days after that within the next seven days there is going to be a mind-blowing uh, 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 opportunity that you are going to have when it comes to promotion and on, on another hand at around a similar time you're going to become aware of the outcome of the past effort which is going to start the process of rebirth and it is going to lead towards you having an important idea before if that idea came up to you like about a month ago you would be like no baby no but now the big mama is coming up saying hi darling and it's just basically all about you having an important key because you've learned something you've been through something my god and now what you've learned now you will take it to your own advantage okay so if this happened just months ago you would you, you would be like no baby no you wouldn't be prepared for this so this is when you're gonna uh, realize my god this life is so interesting this life is really strange it's really bizarre okay especially at the moment and it has been for a while so i will say what i said before in order to make sense of things just keep going and keep going and keep going no matter what that's the way to stay centered that's the way to stay grounded in the world of like oh my god yeah exactly you see what i mean just remember keep going the more negative things you felt so far the more weirdness you went through you know the more you're gonna get out of it in terms of your own spirit coming through and coming forward because you are the winner you are different you understand you know when something is right you know as i said before when something is not right you also know so it's all about certain things being confirmed to you but then again this in itself this time it's only gonna work in your favor okay so this is why 
why you have been prepared for this for a long time but also on another hand you know just remember it's about the idea the idea the idea and also when it comes to that idea you know like like a pretty much so pay attention to 5th 15th and the 25th of April because it's all going to be kind of pretty much so you're going to become captive towards something it's all about you seeing something and that it's all going to kind of be adding up to oh do you know what it's time do you know what I'm going to do this do you know what I'm going to do that so it's all about becoming captive to your own ideas in the best possible way at a time when you need this the most because trust me my gorgeous Capricornius you are about to plant the little seeds and the seeds that you're going to plant this uh, month it, the, 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 the generations the generations are going to be able to kind of um, you know like get something out of it so the people who mean to you the most are going to find this really beneficial in terms of them like kind of finding your vibration throughout this month beneficial in itself but also when it comes to materialistic life and future planning you know you're doing something here you're creating something you are going to give birth to something so important by the end of this month so by the time we get to september 2022 by the time we get to october 2022 by the time we get to November 2022, you know, you are, this is all going to blow up, like your life is going to be completely different and there are going to be so many elements then that you couldn't, couldn't have possibly dream of. You can't predict this. This is very sacred and you will see what I mean okay you will see what I mean okay and on another hand my gorgeous Capricornius you know it's like a basically uh, uh, so you're also like kind of going to be aware of uh, about a certain invitation and it's more like the opportunity but this is nothing to do with this this opportunity is in between the actual 17th of April and the end of that month you know you are going to become aware of the certain opportunity but only the beginning of this is nothing that is going to start right now this is nothing that is going to begin right now but it's also going to require from you to kind of uh, really kind of reflect on this in the in the way of the actual learning so you're going to become aware of the certain opportunity but it's going to make you feel really excited it's going to make you feel really good but how you will know what this is is because suddenly you're going to feel you're going to find this message that you're going to hear about it very impactful on the way you feel and you will want to explore and this is how you will know that this is something to do with you so another actual uh, 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 opportunity that you will have not the one that i started this reading with that i've just mentioned this is something else that i'm talking about about these are just the beginnings of okay these are the beginnings of this important opportunity that you're gonna find something really challenging but then at the same time you're finding this challenging it's actually really good because this in itself within the next couple of days after that moment in time you know there is some kind of situation going to be highlighted over the last couple of months you know where you had the difficulties in launching new projects and this is going to be on your mind oh no difficulties I didn't do this I didn't do that it's about you doing what you want doing what you like expressing yourself you know your passion in your power is your power your power is your passion type of thing you know it's about you doing things that you like but also finding it very confusing why did you have a difficulties when it comes to doing things that you like you see so it's all about at the same time releasing this negative energy and unlocking yourself on the way as well and and you know there is someone very beautiful in your life somebody very honest and very kind of like a friendly and very kind of devoted to you somebody kind of very kind of like a very spiritual but very kind of educated in so many different ways so many beautiful ways you know you really like this person you really appreciate this person that person is really going to be playing an important role because it's a very consistent person in your life but they're going to tell you really significant news and the significant news that they're going to tell you it's actually going to help you so much with the part of your life that you that you were so indecisive in proceedings you know but at the same time it's going to reveal the whole new world of possibility in terms of the actual investment into your life investing towards the right path on your life now it's a must it is time of the beginning it is the time of growth like we have april and we have march you know these months are very important when it comes to everything changing the energy is changing the vibration is changing you know uh, the nature is changing we are changing so now it's the time to start a certain process and let 
let ourselves to go with it and see where is this going to take you it's really brilliant because also on another hand you know uh, uh, people in your life that are really close to you they are going to be playing an important role because they're going to be constantly on your mind and they're also kind of going to be the part of your guiding light because they will be kind of pushing you through just by you wanting to do the best for yourself and the best for people who mean to you the most this is important on another hand you know what else is actually going to happen within the last three days this april my gorgeous capricornius this is so brilliant you know within the last three days it's like a basically uh, it's to do with the resolution of a very very ongoing problem and I will show you this my gorgeous Capricornius uh, within the last three days this April this is pretty much so to do with the resolution of the problem and the problem that I'm talking about oh my god you see it's just basically the resolution of your problem is just to move on baby now it's time to move on within the, la the last three days in April I'm going to answer a very big question to you it's to do with the discontinuance of the certain part of your life do not allow your energy to be taken away ever again do not allow your energy to be stolen away from you ever again you know you're so clever you're so smart you're aware of absolutely everything but you're also going to become aware of something that you weren't aware of before almost as if somebody was like kind of controlling you without you even realizing maybe through your subconscious mind but not like inspiring you no baby no this was completely opposite so that is going to become evident over the last three days but in itself you will not want to repeat this and stay on this path again so you this is going to be brilliant for your personal uh, development but on another hand it show, it's going to show you exactly what part of your life came to an end and the sooner you realize this the sooner the vibration is going to start rising when it comes to you okay so because you know you will release the life and the part of life that no longer serves you and you don't want to be part of anymore you have learned what you needed to learn you know what you need to know and now it's time to move on my gorgeous Capricornius indeed so it's pretty much so about resolution of the problem is you just cutting something out of your life and moving on it's to do with the changes it's to do with the new beginnings but it's also to do with identifying exactly where your energy was so drained so much and it's to do with the downer negativity and sadness I think we had enough of that so you just need to be smart clever and release yourself in a completely opposite direction my gorgeous Capricornius indeed and it's going to lead towards the actual conclusion an important conclusion which is almost kind of like straight away going to bring the healing energy and vibration into your life you're going to feel the fulfillment but then again at the same time you will know that an important compromise is going to be needed but that is going to inspire you even more because you will wa not want to kind of allow the certain delay to enter your life ever again okay this in itself is going to really lead towards a very hopeful outlook very favorable expectations that you're going to become aware of you will like this it's a big mama time you know but at the same time you know it's just going to be connected to new alliances in your life and it's also going to be connected to the moment in time when you're going to realize you know what yeah this is like new alliances new people are going to start kind of walking into your life at this moment in time and this is going to surprise you but it's going to feel really delicious you go you will like it because it's connected to this new delicious energy that it's only going to be picking you up and picking you up and picking you up at the same time you're going to be learning things about yourself specifically especially when it comes to how much you've actually changed over the last 46 months this is brilliant because you have been prepared for this for such a long time so that's why your mind is going to be slightly different about a certain aspect that you are going to be facing at the end of this month you know it's all all about you kind of like a pretty much so making sure sure that the more personal effort you put the more you're going to get out of it you know stay committed to the task of, of uh, at hand this is very important because it is going to show you exactly like uh, 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 what else do you need to learn what else is missing in your life in terms of the actual knowledge this is going to be big and this is going to be brilliant how you're going to know this because suddenly you will want to explore the significant part of your life 
life you know and this is going to surprise you and yet again it's going to show you your own spiritual growth but on another hand even more importantly in this case it's what actually element do you need to read up about it even more it's to do with your own knowledge but it's to do with you also feeling so yeah baby feeling this vibration and energy you know if you don't jump in the water you will never learn how to swim you're most certainly going to jump here my gorgeous Capricornius indeed okay so on another hand when it comes to your health my gorgeous Capricornius do you know what I see here it's pretty much so um the, the back lower back it's gonna be like oh my god please you need to pay attention to your posture uh, throughout the months it's very important to kind of like I know it sounds like oh god you need to pay attention to your posture but I'm seeing like a very kind of like a blockage and negativity when it comes to the lower back here and also blockage and negativity when it comes to the, here the top back of your uh, uh, in, in between your shoulders and the top of your spine here this bit this is gonna be like kind of blockage where you're gonna have but you're also gonna have a blockage at around here as well so please do everything you possibly can in order to sit correctly and straight throughout not like me like not like me now but sitting like really nicely correct and straight throughout the actual month and this in itself it's really going to increase your uh, energy so beautifully and and without you even realizing but also make sure that you're doing the certain exercises that are going to be really beneficial for your back and try to kind of move your body and move yourself in the direction that you don't normally move yourself in you know try to kind of move yourself around uh, and especially if you could do this try to do it like maybe god i'm god, so gonna knock this light off but try to do it on the outside because because the vibration is going to be perfect the vibration is going to be beautiful because as i said before you're going to get and gain so much out of nature in term of, terms of rejuvenation because everything is changing so if you can go to do that outside side so you get a double mama you get a double whammy here basically because on one hand you're going to absorb this wonderful energy uh, of rejuvenation you know at this time of the year but on another hand just like try kind of find a little place outside or you don't have to go outside you can do it at home but try to like move your body do the little exercises throughout the months to actually move your body in the direction that you're not normally moving you know especially when it comes to your lower back and especially when it comes to your top back as well but also on another hand try to like kind of like a, a, a sleep in the correct way I try to relax like uh, you know while you're kind of lying down but also when you're sleeping it is very important to have a good quality pillow and also at the same time you know it will helps quite a lot with the energy to put a pillow in between your legs while you're sleeping in between your knees and that really helps to you to raise the lower back in a very significant way so it makes you feel so much better uh, this is something that I would highly recommend you and it really you know it's going to make you feel so much better because it's going to get this energy going throughout your body but just remember to try to move you know to sit correctly and things like that things like that but also try to keep on moving body as much as you can in the directions that you don't normally move your body in and also uh, try to avoid sugar completely cut off try to avoid like a sh uh, sugary sweets cakes and things like that and try to kind of cut it out as much as you can this month please because I can see you will also have the negativity a bit of a blockage when it comes to stomach and digestion due to sugar or sugary sweets and things like that you you don't have to listen to me you know it's entirely up to you but I'm just saying that this is something if you completely cut out sugar because sugar is worse than like oh my god I said this so many times sugar is a little bastard you know I said this many times no sugar no organic sugar no brown sugar no sugar at all because people ask me like oh, what about the organic sugar no baby no it's all the same thing Trust me. Okay, so try to cut out sugar like completely and try to maybe um if you're drinking uh, juices and things like that cut it out but also uh, drink just water because this is going to help you to flush out the uh, toxins out of the system but at the same time uh, if you need like if you're drinking like a teas and things like that try to kind of drink organic honey organic maple syrup instead of the actual sugar and what I was going to advise you when it comes to stomach and stomach blockage just try to drink organic dandelion tea with organic uh, uh, honey or organic 
um, a maple syrup with a little bit of organic um, um, unwaxed lemon. You know, so organic dandelion tea will quite, which can, will quite help you and organic uh, chamomile tea will help you as well to flush out the toxins out of the system. It's very important and it's going to make you feel so much better. This is something that I would highly advise you and also if you feel like you need to have sweets and cakes and things like that, maybe try to have a fruit instead or dark chocolate. Dark chocolate is brilliant. It's actually quite good for us because it has got certain ingredients that are actually really good for us. But on another hand, the higher cocoa content is within this dark chocolate, you know, the, the, the better and the healthier is for us indeed. So to choose the dark chocolate with the highest cocoa content you possibly can. So you only need a little bit, but it also kind of replaces that feeling when you have these sugar cravings and things like that. Okay, so now my gorgeous Capricornius, the first date that I would like to talk to you about is, but before I go there, I would highly recommend you something like this. Look at this beautiful, beautiful, uh, faceted, pregnant, absolutely gorgeous pendant, and it's very different. This is a gentle, but it's powerful, it's strong, it's unique, it opens you up, it, it kind of makes you aware of things that you weren't aware of before. When you're thinking about something really spiritual, spiritual it helps it to kind of land on the right place you know in the right within the right energy that you should be focusing on when it comes to your personal growth you know it opens you up psychically it enhances your intuition it kind of makes you aware of things before they happen but also when you're surrounded by strange people negative people they can drain your energy and it affects your way of thinking way of planning it affects your way of expressing yourself so this is brilliant because it's doing so many things at once you know on one hand you know it enhances precognition and inner knowing but then again it enables you to always be prepared because it's on one hand it's calming the environment but the on other hand it really opens up your third psychic eye your pineal gland of course you know and and and, and things like that that are so not beneficial in this spiritual journey but these things are like um, essential on our spiritual journey when it comes to third psychic eye and pineal gland it's like oh my god so this is what I'm talking about when it comes to this absolutely beautiful pendant every single time in April May and June when you are kind of like discussing something important, you're doing something important, you have to like kind of come out of yourself, when you have to like kind of express yourself in the best possible way, when you're uncertain, you know, just wear this because it's, this is going to help you so, so, so much. This gorgeous pendant comes with a beautiful sterling silver chain and the link to buy this is, is in the description below. By buying things from my channel, my gorgeous Capricornius, you're also supporting my channel as well. I have to say that. So thank you very much okay so now um, the first date that I would like to talk to you about it's gonna be on the 7th of April my gorgeous Capricornius, you know, on the 7th of April, there is a very interesting sign that you are going to have. It's in fact, pay attention to what is on your mind in between the 1st of April and the 6th of April. Something is going to be persistently on your mind. Something is going to be persistently on your mind. This is the last bit of blockage that you're going to have to work through. By the time you get to the 7th of April, you will have a very interesting kind of sign, very interesting sign very unusual sign very powerful sign very strong sign very kind of like oh my god brilliant sign in so many different ways because it's going to be talking to you it's going to be speaking to you in so many different ways exactly 27 days later uh, there is going to be a massive confirmation that you are going to have and the massive confirmation is at the same time also going to be bringing you really interesting realization and that realization it's going to like kind of become the green light when you need the green light in your life the most the time to go with a certain aspect of your life you're gonna like this and you will see exactly what I mean the sign that you're also going to have it's gonna open you up and suddenly you're gonna become aware of an unknown little dangers and that in itself it's really kind of gonna uh, um, make you thinking it's gonna get you thinking it's really gonna cut you need gonna need like about two or three days after that 
start to think a little bit and then suddenly something is going to come up to you in a form of like the self-illumination that you're going to have suddenly you know you will realize that you're in self-denial and what this self-denial in is is you know this is important because at the same time it's going to recognize you uh, uh, um, it's going to recognize the specific part of your life that you are really capable about suddenly you will know exactly what you need to do in in order to get like the biggest change you know the biggest reward you know in your life this will help you to recognize on another hand like a future opportunities you know and, uh, and you wouldn't otherwise notice the future opportunities ahead so this is where you will see the power of the actual us being persistent in our lives the power of us being consistent in our lives but also the power of the actual spiritual domino when the big mama goes you know all the big mamas go you know so it's really important to understand this because at the same time you or in between the 7th of April and the 21st of April you are about to overcome a really big obstacle and now you will see my god I've just overcome this huge obstacle and you will think if I can overcome this obstacle I can overcome absolutely anything absolutely brilliant okay the second important date but before I go there my gorgeous Capricornius look at this baby here absolutely beautiful and this is Chronicle Sedony this is a fantastic crystal when it comes to our energy it re-energizes you almost immediately this is something you should wear on April May June even July every time when you feel deflated every time when you feel like a low energy you know because this re-energizes you by the same time in, it encourages you to kind of like come out of yourself and to do the right things in life and also at the time when we are really worried and uncertain you know this crystal is so powerful because it's keep on pushing us through it's keep on pushing us forward you know it like helps you to make the best possible decisions in terms of planning future planning career and finances and especially when you feel kind of uncertain because that can mess up quite a lot but then on another hand it enhances uh, like your own energy but also it like attracts like the actual prosperity into your life so it's fantastic when you're working on things when you're working on certain projects when you're trying to achieve something really important when you're trying to achieve something really big because it always helps you with that extra push in life this chronicle said to me it basically encourage, encourages positive and constructive self-reflection but it also increases physical energy blood and circulation as well this gorgeous pendant also comes with a beautiful uh, uh, sterling silver chain and the link to buy is, is this is in the description below by buying things from my channel you're also supporting my channel as well I have to say that my gorgeous Capricornius so thank you very much the second important date is going to be on the 21st of April so it's all about an important responsibility that only you can take care of just remember this I'm gonna repeat again the second important date is going to be on the 21st of April and it's all about an important responsibility that only you can take care of at the same time you will realize how much you have actually changed and that is going to be great moment in time because somebody very loyal to you is going to say something to you and it's also going to come through the power of synchronicity is going to confirm kind of something quite interesting to you in terms of the next step but also what you need to add into your life you will this is going to lead towards you making a really wise investment 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 almost immediately you're going to become aware of the activity and progress in your life you're going to become aware of an important movement and that in itself is going to allow you to make an important decision and you know never mind the fact that there is going to the message that you are going to have at around a similar time which is uh, kind of gonna just remind you how unhappy you were so far with the certain aspects of your life and it's only gonna inspire even more to make that push you know to go a little bit further just remember that the 21st is going to be like quite important when it comes to meditation when it comes to relaxing when it comes to spending time in the nature in particular but also when it comes to like a 
certain things coming up to you because you're going to be very open you know spiritually and psychically throughout this month so the 21st day in between the to 21st april is going to be strong you know when it comes to this but it's also going to be in the, between the 21st of april and the end of that month you can find like yourself like really kind of drifting a little bit like chilling out relaxing and it's that important stage in be before you fell asleep okay and um, before you, like, while you're awake and then before you fell asleep, you know, it's like that stage, highly powerful meditation stage that I'm talking about when we are aware of, without being aware of so many different dimensions. And I need you to understand because there is a lot going to be coming to you. And the same when it comes to the 21st of April and the end of that month, pay attention to what is on your mind before you go to sleep, just before you go to sleep. And also pay attention to what is on your mind quite often often like in terms of like the very first thing in the morning as well because it's all connected to that powerful high meditation state that is a lot going to come to you like a lot of insight so you could be just sitting down at home you know the 21st is going to be very strong when it comes to that in particular you know you're like sitting at home you're relaxing and you're just like kind of drifting away and suddenly oh my god something just comes to you why am i not doing this something that you should be doing and you're not doing it's going to come to you it's just going to give you like a spiritual fla a slap you know you're going to be like oh my god so this is something to really kind of pay attention to but it can happen in between the 21st and the end of that month as well and also you know um, it, this is the great time uh, of a self-discovery on the 21st of April but also you're gonna need to share a certain information there is something really kind of very important that you're gonna get understand is to do with your own self-discovery but this is also very important to share with the people in your life that mean to you the most the the third important date my gorgeous Capricornians it's going to be on the 30th of April you know you know suddenly you're gonna feel like like a very free spiritually you're gonna feel like a free spirit you're gonna f feel like a free soul there is a lot gonna be on your mind you know the 30th of April is going to be very unique and very different it's all about this burst of energy that you're going to feel from the very first thing in the morning and I will tell you what even if you're not sleeping all night on the 29th even if you're sleeping on the whole night on the 28th it doesn't really matter if you don't sleep all night on both days on 28th and 29th it doesn't matter because the 30th is going to be like it's going to be crazy how powerful this energy is going to be but you're going to start coming out of yourself on a very very specific in a very specific way through your own creativity but why are you feel going to feel so creative suddenly will also answer a big question for you why are you feeling so creative suddenly it's also going to answer a big big matter massive question for you in particular what to do next huge massive enormous revelation this in itself is pretty much so going to uh, uh, make you feel so good but then again it's just all gonna kind of like make you realize that this is the time this is something that you need to do because you're gonna become very st it's to do with your own stability but it's also to do with the something that you wanted to do in a long time you know but you will know that by this moment in time certain difficulties are going to come to an end which is only going to reflect on you just like kind of like a really do this because naturally it's connected to the next step next stage of your life it's going to kind of require from you to be brave and that in itself it's going to be kind of also kind of very interesting aspect here because through your own bravery you will realize your own capacity and this is going to confuse you but in the best possible way because suddenly you know you will realize you know that you're more powerful than you thought that you actually are and, and you will realize that you kind of come across like a very kind of sacred secret little formula something that you know something that you're aware of but then at the same time because you know this you're aware of this some people are not aware of this this is like part of your secret formula sometimes there is no point you know just to remind you there is no point to waste your energy with the people who have a completely different opinion to you there are going to be so many of them I'll say this to you before just keep going keep going and keep going you know you're going to reach this moment in life where 
you know, uh, you just will want to kind of avoid certain conversations and certain subjects with people. You can get on with people, you can meet the person, you can meet certain people, but you will just become aware of exactly which subject you should be kind of avoiding to actually talk about, to even kind of like even mention, you know, it's like all about like kind of like you giving a, a lot out, but then again, being really clever by not kind of like a really going into something that absolutely doesn't make sense. Uh, so absolutely, uh, uh, it's pointless because it's to do with the people in your life who don't mean anything to you. By the same time, it is just that your different opinions are so different. I mentioned this before, but it's important to mention this yet again, because that just in itself causes so much of an emotional confusion with certain people you just cannot win. But there is no point because they don't mean anything to you anyway. So on another hand, the 30th of April also, I really like this, uh, very uh, interesting, like not interesting, but an, an, an excellent opportunity is going to present itself. And this is going to be connected to happy news about like really happy and excited news about your career promotions. And then it's going to lead, the bottom line is, it's going to lead towards a very, very important new area of study that you're going to need to inspect you're going to need to explore. This is so, this is going to be so big. Okay, so now my gorgeous Capricornius, I'm just going to see briefly what is going to happen in the first part of April, mid-April and the last part of April. So the first part of April, you know, um, it's going to be kind of very much so uh, an unexpected progress here an unex sudden and un unexpected progress and I really like this because it's to do with a positive change. Just remember it's all connected to that little information that you're going to hear on the outside, a little light which is just going to make the whole situation like bright as bright as possibly can be. Just that little glimpse of light is going to change everything. That little information is going to change everything and this in itself it's only the beginning. So just remember it's to do with the sudden and unexpected progress in your life, but it's connected with the delays, the end of delays. This is important. By the time you get to the mid-April, you know, remember revisiting an old plan is something that you will need to do in order to take the next steps. You know, this is connect, going to be connected to bold and ambitious choices, but it's also very important time to reconnect and connect with those people who think like you. Connect with them, reconnect with them, enjoy your life, live your life. You know, this is important. And on another hand, you know, it's just pretty much so the mid April, it's all about you realizing, you know, my God, I want to expand certain plans. So it's all about continuing to move forward. The last part of April is just also, on another hand, there are certain epiphan epiphanies that you're actually going to have. These epiphanies that you're going to have are going to lead towards magical opportunities. I can't stress this enough, okay? You just need to kind of like really also pay attention to the fact that there are going to be the certain plans that you're going to be feeling connected to, but they are going to work out to be way bigger than you could possibly imagine, okay? So now my gorgeous Capricornius, I'm just going to see what is going to happen to those of you in relationship when it comes to April 2022. It's like, oh my God, this is brilliant because it is just like a certain basically very, um, what is going to happen here? You're going to find something very rewarding, both of you the couples, because there is an important advice that you're both going to have. This advice is everything, because at that moment in time, it's all about you feeling so inspired. So someone very clever, someone very smart, someone very intelligent, someone very wise, like spiritually, like a big mama, is about to give you an important advice. And this is going to almost at that moment in time, it's going to bring a really powerful vibration and balance into your life. And it's just going to give you an idea. It's going to give you some kind of a timestamp. 
time stamp, <laughs> time span. It, well, so suppose time stamp is going to give you some kind of time span because after that moment in time, you both are going to be aware of how long is something going to take. Certain process and certain progress where you thought before, oh my God, it's not going to happen. It's impossible. Not the right time. Blah blah blah. No, baby, no. Just keep going. Just keep going. Just keep going. Because by the time you get to the end of this month, you know, you're both going to make a really important decision and it's to do with a certain choice but it's most certainly to do with like you moving on with your life and doing something that you know you both wanted to do for absolute ages but you were just waiting for the right moment in time well now my gorgeous Capricornius it's the right moment in time so now I'm just going to see what is going to happen for those of you who are single and ready to Capricornius. My gorgeous Capricornius, this is for you who are single. You know, this is brilliant because it looks like you're reaching that moment in time when you're absolutely ready for some kind of relationship. But before that happens, you know, this um, April, someone is going to inspire you so much and someone is going to inspire you and it's going to give you an idea. And the idea that I'm talking about is just going to give you a kind of, it's going to make you think about a certain place. It's going to make you feel about a certain dimension. It's going to make you feel about a certain energy that you want to bring into your life. And this can only happen when you make that little change. So it's all about you kind of realizing, first of all, that you are ready. But at the same time, without you kind of knowing that these things are connected, you're going to find yourself thinking about something very specific. You're going to start going somewhere where you didn't go before maybe you will go in the same place where you're going like a regularly but maybe you will go on a different days for example or a different time but it's going to bring so much like uh, so many elements of something new new area I would say new new dimension I would say very strongly indeed but if it's not then it's going to be just as new if you like kind of change the days where you're going somewhere you know it's all about this unique and powerful vibration that is going to enlighten so much around you at the time when this is like gonna also uh, give you control over your life and strength and courage to actually do that you know it's all about stepping forward and having confidence and feeling the right time you know it's all about you exploring your life but at the same time realizing you know that now it's the right time. Somehow this is going to be connected to, uh, to, 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 to things that you work. It, this is somehow going to be connected to your work as well. And if you're retired, for example, it doesn't matter whether you're retired, whether you're working or whether you're looking for work or whether you're not working, but something that you like to work, if you're not working, it's something it's connected to maybe things that you are good at, you know, things that you normally work when you work or things that you used to work. You know, it doesn't really matter, but somehow through your work this per wonderful person is also about to make themselves known somehow through your work this is all going to have a connection with you going somewhere else at the same time it's somehow going to be connected to your work as well because someone very interesting is about to walk into your life my gorgeous Capricornius and it's not going to be even that long so my advice is open yourself up in terms of exploration and open yourself up in terms of going somewhere deep Different. whether this is to do with like a work whether this is to do with a career or whether this is to do with like uh, with fun you know like going somewhere out you know or something like that it doesn't really matter but somehow it's all gonna have all these different bits and pieces like kind of mixed up together you're going somewhere new but it's also somehow connected to your work but it could be like to do with the pleasure it's going to be very interesting but most importantly it's not going to be that long until that person walks into your life even if it, that that person doesn't walk into your life like this April don't get negative please because May and June are very very strong sometimes it depends on our unique spiritual paths and journeys when certain people are going to be highlighted in our lives now what is the most important to you is the realization when this is going to take place and how this is going to take place and how this person is going to walk into your life indeed Okay, my gorgeous Capricornius, I love you all so, so, so much. I'm sending you brightest blessings, lots of love, healing, peace and light. So I'm sending you brightest blessings, lots of love, healing, peace and light to every single one of you. Thank you ever so much for watching my videos. Sasha Bonasin, Psychic Medium. Love you. Bye.